Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here in Arizona. A little humid today, that's for sure. Today's video, guys, uh, just be staying productive, listing some items. There's some. There's a couple garage sales that are out and about, but you know, I'm really going to tackle the project at hand, which is my garage and a lot of the mumbo jumbo that's over there. So I'm not going to be outsourcing anything of that nature. Just going to be grinding it out. I'll show you a couple things I sold past 24 hours so let's see what we do today just got done listing these on the old ebay some of the stuff, stuff came out of storage unit some of the stuff i just had in a box and i was just kind of dreading putting it online uh these here these are jay linden lindberg check them out uh they're worth some cash uh kind of high-end men's golf wear uh we'll see what they bring though paid a couple bucks for these and bright orange and bright yellow ones at the thrift. So as always, we will see what we get for this mess. In the garage here, and uh, getting close to filling up this bucket of inventory amongst all this craziness of inventory. Inventory, 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 inventory. Craziness. So uh, we'll get this uh, top put back on, and then... Uh, Going through listing some stuff today and cleaning up the garage. It is a, uh, it's a nightmare in here. In a previous video, if you've been following along, you probably saw this shot. There was boxes and a bunch of stuff here. Slowly going through it all and uh, making a difference here. Just removed one crate from there. So uh, we're going to be cleaning up this here. Just figuring out if we can sell this stuff. Just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of an update on that little area. <laughs> calls you gotta answer right so I'm on my way right now to meet with a woman for a piece of furniture we'll see if it pans out uh, she was trying to beat me up in price and I just was firm with my price I came down a little bit but I said listen this is what I could do this thing is made of solid wood it's not some cheap knockdown furniture etc etc so let's see if she shows up hello Hi. how are you Here's the piece here. It's a little dusty. Let me see. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. Refurbish it. Sorry, two dollars okay. isn't change. That works. I appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Simple as that. Twenty, some money, and some change. Back to the hustle. Love those local deals and steals, that is for sure. Just gotta put my seatbelt on. Again, that was a piece of furniture that was originally out of a storage unit. Oh geez, I better watch where I'm going if I crash. And uh, look at this. It's like a bunker, man. That came out of a storage unit, basically sanded it down a little bit and uh, painted it. So it uh, didn't take long to do that at all. Um, just a little bit of that gray paint, you know, goes a long way. And uh, made a deal on offer up for it. Good to go. I'm happy. She's happy. She actually said she's, I'm going to rehab it. And I'm like, okay. I guess you're going to redo whatever you want to redo with as long as you pay me. I was just behind a car and I'm like, man, what the heck is that smell? And I uh, got the air on. So the car kind of passed away and... Uh, I'm like, what is going on here? Now, I, I'm still, I still got the original minivan here, man. The OG Hustler that I've had for a while. It's paid off. It's got about 150,000 miles on it. It's been a trooper, but uh, it's definitely got some wear and tear on it. And some work needs to be done with it. But uh, just kind of uh, prolonging the uh, inevitable. <laughs> but uh, I started to get worried going, oh, no. Is this the day it finally breaks down? Oh, 
I know a lot of you guys that have used cars out there know exactly what I'm talking about, but uh, it sure does beat paying a monthly car note. Kim, this drug dealing business is amazing. Just making that bank, right? Change. Yeah, I got some change, some pennies. Happy though, I got a bit of a piece of furniture. Well, that's good. Yeah. My favorite one. Your favorite one too, huh? Gotta sell this stuff. Oh no, actually that one's my favorite one. I like that one better. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, this is our uh, front door here, and uh, finished up these pieces here. These are all rehabbed storage unit things. It's just been so hot and muggy that uh, I'm trying to clear room in the garage to put it in. Probably going to use these for the garage. Uh, this one here, just Kim rehab that one. Looks pretty nice. Got a little dust on it though. But uh, gotta love that local money, the furniture money. All right, let's dive into what's sold today. First with Steve's eBay. It's a 1991 One Earth, One Sky, One Sea. Preserve, protect, conserve, vintage t-shirt, size extra large. Paid maybe 10 cents for this at a side of the road. Little special deal outside of an estate sale. And uh, this sold for $9 plus $4 shipping for a total of $13 shipped. Here's a cool item that Steve picked up and we went halvesies on. I believe he got this in a state sale for $15. If I'm wrong, he'll comment. 1960s Sterling Super Ringmaster wooden 42-inch model airplane, airplane kit, new in original box. And this sold for $80 plus $18 shipped for a total of $98 out the door. Paid $1 for this last week at the Thrift. It's Kingdom Hearts Greatest Hitch for the Sony PlayStation Two from 2003. It was tested and in working condition. This sold for $7 shipped. Have 50 cents in this 2006 Upper Deck UD Game Materials Carry Wood jersey from the Chicago Cubs. And uh, this sold for $5.95 shipped. Maybe he had a quarter in this TX test tape level set 400. Uh, five inch reel to reel tape made in Japan. Had it on sale and it sold for $62.40 plus $4 shipping. For a total of $66.40 shipped. Picked this up last week with me and Kim. We went to the thrift for $1. It's the Golden Pen, the Pig, then Oink, Real Big 1990 Vintage Complete Board Game with Box. And this sold for $22 with free shipping. Oh no. No, it won't fit. In... Oh my God, what am I going to do? Board game I sold doesn't fit in this box. Oh, what are we going to do? Hey, wait a minute. Now you're using your noggin. Now you're using your noggin, boy. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. We're gonna get this all packaged up and good to go. Took that original box, resized it so it looks presentable, ships correctly, and uh, we've got one, two, three pieces of scrap that we could probably use for something else down the road. Pretty easy peasy. Okay, Kim just got an alert on Facebook about a curb alert for a bunch of stuff, and uh, I'm heading over there right now to see what we have. There was a bunch of, we'll say sellable stuff, we'll see. Like, Looks like Legos not, and not, yeah, Bionicles, actually. This must have been a... Let me clean my room. Oh. Kind of this was in the closet? Yeah. Well, these are like See, Bionics. Like Just leaving that curb alert house, and I, I stopped because the people were out there, and I said, you got anything else to throw out or anything for sale? And they're like, oh, we got a bunch of stuff. We're just dumping it. So, uh... <laughs> I got some stuff and um, got a contact because they've got more stuff they want to get rid of. So uh, I will show you guys what I picked up here in a little bit. Okay, four things in here really quick. Uh, Fisher Price, Harley Davidson, kids write them thing, motorized. And I got three fishing poles here. Um, I'm not sure what they are. I didn't even look them up. Again, they're free. So uh, pull them out some point here and clean them up and see if they're worth any money. Just got back and cleaned up these items that I got. They were pretty filthy because they were in a garage forever. You know, I just uh, asked the, the lady, you know, hey, any more free stuff? 
And she goes, yeah, you know, throwing me a bunch of junk. And I said, you got anything else for sale? Or, you know, and she's got plenty of stuff. I just grabbed uh, a little bit here and, and uh, probably be going back at some point to get some more. I spent a total of $30 is what I'm going to show you guys here. Let's go with some stuff here. Picked up some plenty of stuff. I'm going to watch that. And uh, then we'll sell them. So we got Fantasia, Disney, Jungle Book, Disney, Snow White, Disney DVD, and The Wizard of Oz. Some board games. We got uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Life. At World's End, we've got a Monopoly Disney edition, and then we've got a uh, Disneyland Parker Brothers uh, Family Fun in the Magic Kingdom. This this one right here, I, I should be able to double my money that I've spent on this one here. It should bring sixty bucks, fifty to sixty. It's uh, brand new in the package. Lego Star Wars four pack of like pens. So you got Darth Vader, Yoda, R two D two, and Chewbacca. Uh, picked up this commemorative tin collection, Star Wars. Uh, it looks like we got some dudes in here. Uh, box is in really rough shape, but the package is, uh, or the toys are the mint, obviously, in there. There's the tin on the back. Uh, got a Nintendo Wii Fit battery pack, brand new. And it looks like this is a Reflex, two pounds each. These are, these are heavy, like Wii holders for, uh, or dumbbells for your Wii. <laughs> with me motion again this is brand new um, here we got just some miscellaneous Star Wars vehicles lightsabers some action figures a lot of that up uh, we've got some late 90s early 2000s Star Wars cards here they're all brand new I wouldn't consider these uh, true heavy collector ready because there are some wear on them but there's some good toys in here there's General Grievous you know um, let's picture some of these here Again, these were kind of mass produced, but uh, they do sell. So we'll, we'll have some fun uh, going through these and uh, selling them. What else we got in here? A little Chewbacca. Uh, that was cool. Changes to Darth Sidious. Mr. Solo. So, yep, $30 for all this here. Um, also, then I got for free the three fishing rods and that uh, little Harley uh, thing for a kid. It's not too bad. We're getting the stuff listed at some point, and obviously keep you posted when it sells. Oh, almost forgot. We're on day 37. I was listening to a lot of records today, but I didn't get a chance to list any. We'll make that happen tomorrow. We're going to list some more. We're going to obviously make it happen. We're gonna get to 500 listings. I didn't expect to buy anything today, but that's how some days go, man. It kind of just fell on my lap. I was also filming something for a another deal. It was a let go deal that turned south. Um, it was just crazy. Nothing bad happened. Just dealing with a complete idiot. Um, not sure if I'll ever release those videos. Uh, maybe, I don't know. If there's interest in that, you guys wanna see what I went through, I'd be more than happy to share that. But uh, I did spend some time in between throughout today's vlog, messing with the crazy woman. <laughs> Always something going on. If you did enjoy today's video, hit the thumbs up. Go out there, be great, get some stuff listed. Make it happen. Next time I'm out of here, peace. Vlog over.